Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. I've got another update for you from Lab 599 and the TX500 mic pop-out, MAM pack or MAM portable version of the TX500. Now I'm not going to cover things I've covered in the initial video and the first update video, so if you haven't watched those yet, please watch them in order uh, from the original video to the update video. The links are in the description. Now, all of the questions that I'm answering in this update have come from questions you guys have asked in the previous video. So hopefully I've got them all. If I haven't, please ask them again and try to get my attention, and I'll try to get them out in an upcoming update video. All right, first up is the battery pack on the TX500MP. The TX500MP uses its own proprietary battery pack. It's a bit different than the battery pack for the TX500. However, it is also compatible, sorry, the TX500MP is also compatible with the 18650BP500 battery pack we use for the TX500. So you have the option of using the bespoke battery pack on the Mike Papa version, or the BP500 18650 pack that we use on the TX500. I don't have any other information about the battery when I do, I'll post it in an update. In the meantime, if you want to take a look at the Bravo Papa 500 18650 battery pack we use on the TX500, uh, go ahead and take a look at the video I did last year. I'll post a link for that in the description. Another question coming in in the last video about the Mike Papa version was when is it going to be available? Well, I don't know the availability date yet, but I do know the target manufacturing date should start in April of 2024. Uh, as we get more information on the release dates and uh, where we can buy these radios, I'll certainly post that information in an update video. Now, another popular question coming in was whether or not the frequency is actually continuous from 0 0.5 to 56 megahertz. I asked and the answer I received was it's continuous from 1.8 megahertz up to 56 megahertz without any breaks. That's very interesting, especially for the preparedness community. All right, let's move on. Now, some of you were also asking whether or not the Mike Papa version has a spectrum display. Unfortunately, I screwed up and forgot to ask this question from the guys at Lab 599. I'll come back to it in the next update video. Or even sooner, I'll update the blog post as soon as I have the answers. Sorry about that, but let's move on. Another good question coming in was whether or not the breakout box, that's the one which has the USB port, the integrated audio interface, uh, and the speaker mic uh, adapter ports, whether or not that breakout box can be used on the TX500. Unfortunately, no. That's all the information I have about that. On a similar note, another question coming in was about uh, interfacing with the CW paddle. How would our CW interface actually integrate with the radio? Well, uh, the assumption was it would somehow integrate with the breakout box, but that's not actually true. The CW interface integrates with the data port on the radio. Naturally, it would have a long enough lead so that the radio, if it's mounted on your backpack or someplace else, could be manipulated remotely with that remote CW paddle. As soon as I have more information about that interface and the CW paddle, I'll definitely post that in the update video. Okay, the last answer to, or non-answer to the questions uh, you guys have asked uh, was uh, about the price. And actually, the price hasn't been set yet. It will be set before the release date. Um, I know, that's a bummer, but uh, hey, start saving your pennies. That's what I'm doing, because this, this one looks like a keeper. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Look, I put up a blog post with uh, all of the updates. I'll leave a link to that blog post in the description. Remember to take a look at the uh, original uh, TX500 MP video, as well as the first update. And share these things because, uh, look, even if you don't uh, like this radio or buy this radio, it certainly triggers the manufacturing, the ham radio manufacturing community to step up and uh, integrate similar ideas. You know, 
They've been telling us that these features aren't wanted for decades, but uh, actually, a rugged man pack radio or man portable radio with all of these features is exactly uh, what we've been wanting. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my ICOM IC705, and it is the best data radio, portable data radio in the world at the moment. However, I certainly wish it was a heck of a lot more rugged, you know? But look, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing out these videos, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please leave me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or somewhere where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. You all are absolutely awesome. All right. Ciao. My wife is screaming at me to come and have breakfast, guys, and that's why I'm rushing this.